Hi friends, in my earlier video, I have explained how to start or build your career in the cloud space. But looks like there is some misunderstanding from the information I have given based on the calls I have received from the various people. So I'm here to clarify on those questions. In part one, I have explained how to enter into the cloud world or the technology world. For example, if you are non-IT or non-technical guy or from out of the industry within IT but switch from legacy to the latest. Some other administrators like Jira or any other from any other streams. They can enter into cloud administration. It is one of the easy path available compared to any other technologies. But if you are already in good shape of your IT career, this is not the good one. I even gave the salary ranges so that it will help you to compare with your current with the future and what kind of different roles available that also i mentioned here and what kind of responsibilities they will be dealing or tackling that also i explained let me make it very clear who should not consider this particular career path of the career cloud administrator if you are already earning 10 plus lakhs in it you don't please consider the administrator because administrator always has limitations unless they switch again into the DevOps or some other technologies within the cloud space. There are all, all, always limitations based on the type of titles. Every title has its own bar, right? So if you're already getting 10 plus, 10 plus lakhs, no meaning of jumping to some other career of the administrator and already have four plus years in IT, I don't suggest at all to move to the administrator. Probably you can check DevOps or maybe cloud developer or maybe kind of cloud lead kind of titles, but not the simple administrator. If you're a tech savvy to explore a lot, then also I don't uh, recommend. If you're open to learn and can understand in depth of the technology, then also don't prefer to go as administrator. Your path is to grow to senior levels, VP, president, director, CTO. This is not a good start at all uh, to be as administrator for those type of titles. Better be in a good shape, plan well about your career path. Then who should consider? Even in my previous slides or part one, I already explained. Uh, let me make it more clear if you want to enter into it and you are not into it then you can consider to be a administrator as a simple path if you want to move on faster track definitely uh, this is one of the way because you can quickly learn the concepts they are not like uh, as deep as the devops or the sre or the architect type of roles if you have no experience or you have minimum years of experience of like two, three years, then also you can consider. If you are already admin on the other technologies, you can consider. Want to take a slow pace first to enter into this and then uh, slowly learn the DevOps and uh, to be in a better role, then also you can consider to be an administrator. At the same time, you should also understand the limitations it got. For example, the number of uh, titles or roles available in the uh, job market are limited compared to the other postings uh, because nowadays uh, DevOps and administrator are getting kind of mixed roles. You should also consider what will be the size of the teams or size of the type of experience uh, the companies are expecting because administrators are directly or indirectly manages the governance so they will definitely look for some kind of decent experience uh, to give this kind of role i suggest to do the enough r d by going through the glass door now create portals like how many job postings are available and what kind of responsibilities or roles they are looking for what type of experience levels they are looking for just please do that and then decide what could be your career path to enter into the IT world or the cloud world. If you have any questions, please post it in the comments. I'll definitely answer. Don't take a simple decision within one or two days without doing the R&D. Thanks for watching my videos.